Welcome to County Office, your complete guide to local government services and public records. Let's start learning. What determines a building's construction type? The construction type of a building is determined by its materials, occupancy, and height. Buildings are classified into five types, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, and type V. Type 1 buildings are the most fire-resistant and are made of non-combustible materials like concrete and steel. Type 2 buildings are also non-combustible, but have some combustible materials like roofs. Type 3 buildings are made of combustible materials like wood, but have non-combustible exterior walls. Type 4 buildings are heavy timber constructions, while Type 5 buildings are made of combustible materials and are the least fire-resistant. The occupancy of a building also determines its construction type. Buildings are classified into five groups based on their occupancy. Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D, and Group E. Group A. Buildings are assembly buildings like theaters, while Group B buildings are business buildings like offices. Group C buildings are residential buildings, while Group D buildings are industrial buildings. Group E buildings are educational buildings like schools. Finally, the height of a building also determines its construction type. Buildings are classified into four types based on their height. Type 1, Type 2, Type 3, and Type I-4. Type 1 buildings can be any height, while Type 2 buildings can be up to six stories. Type 3 buildings can be up to four stories, while Type 4 buildings can be up to three stories. In conclusion, a building's construction type is determined by its materials, occupancy, and height. It is important to understand the different types of buildings to ensure the safety of occupants and firefighters in case of a fire. Take a look at the links in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment. We're here to help. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next video.